Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Legends of Eidolon. Today I want to show you guys 11 things that you should do in World 1 as a beginner. So let's get started. Number 1. Join the Discord and the Twitter to get some free gems. As you can see, if you go to the options menu, you will see join Discord. Just click on it and you will get the gems. In this example, you have 9 gems at the beginning. Now I will show you, just click on the join discord and the get gems will disappear. You will get a pop up screen showing you the discord channel. If you do this same thing for the twitter page, you will also get a new twitter page open on your browser and after you have checked the twitter page, you will get the gems. I have 109 gems now, so that's free, free stuff. Number 2. You want to buy the golden anvil as soon as possible. By doing this you will increase your production in the anvil by 2. This one costs 300 gems so you want to start saving some of the gems in order to buy this one as soon as you can. It will let you produce 2 anvil items at the same time and it applies to every character that you have. Number 3 When you get to the game you want to join a guild as fast as possible. You will probably get invited by some people if you are in a busy world. As you can see by joining a guild you will get a lot of passive active buffs. So you want to join also a guild which is pretty high in level because they will have more points and you will be able to get more benefits from the guild. Another great feature from being in the guild is that you will receive weekly gifts from the guild. These gifts have different items which you can get from them. You will get gems, you will get balloons and you will even get time candies. Number 4 Buy the stamps that you can get from the World 1 shop. You will see that you can buy a couple of stamps for your characters. Once you buy these, you want to upgrade them also as soon as possible. You can upgrade these by going to the piggy upstairs and it will require a certain amount of resources in order to upgrade them. Number 5 When you are fighting your monsters active or AFK, it's very important that you add your skills to your skill bar. As you can see, I only have 4k in this example. If I add my active skills from my warrior and I use the buffs you will see a major difference in the gains that I get per hour. Now I have 9k kills per hour which is a great great boost. Number 6 So let's speed it up to the next place. Every day that you start the game you want to start by buying some crucial items. You want to go to the Tiki Fender and buy the Duta Eye and you can also buy this stamp if you haven't bought it yet. The Duta Eye will be needed in the future. You also want to buy all the fragments in order to create the reset potions that you can use in the future. These reset every day so you want to buy them as soon as you can. Also in the main village you will have 4 statues will boost, which will boost your power. You want to buy these every day in order to get stronger. And also buy the fragments from this world. After you do that you can either save the statues in your inventory. Or you can just go to the statue man and deliver these as soon as you can. Number 7 Do the daily task that you get from this guy. By doing the daily task that you can see in this board, you will be getting those green merits. The green merits can be used in the merit shop to unlock different upgrades for your characters. You want to do this every day and try to get them as fast as possible. You will also unlock recipes with the merits that you get and you can get some nice decent bonuses and, and even gems. Number 8 it is very important that you do every day your mini games. It might not be much XP, but at low levels it will even help you level up the ones really fast. Number 9 
if you have some spare gems or money, make sure to buy the daily teleports. These will refill every day for every upgrade that you buy. I have bought so far no two, so I will get every day 14 extra teleports per day. I also bought the mini games, which gives me four additional mini games. So four additional mini games means extra XP, which is also great. Number ten. If you have some spare change, don't forget to go to the furnace and try to start upgrading this also as soon as you can. You want to start buying the extra slots in order to be able to make extra bars every time. You can click on the yellow uh, arrow and you can see the different upgrades that you can start buying for the furnace. By buying this furnace upgrades it will help you increase your resource and your bars which will also need to make armor and upgrades in the future. Number 10 There is a mini game which is the spike trap mini game. With this mini game you can get free gems. If you type in the chat if you love me let me go as I read in here it will teleport you to the mini game. This mini game starts every hour so you want to make sure that you are there a few seconds before the hour in order to start the mini game. By doing the mini game and trying to survive as long as you can you will get some free gems. Bonus tip! Hit the like button and the subscribe button to my channel to get new updates on videos that I make. This will be one of the best tips I can give you guys.